Hello my Vim friends, today I'm going to show you something truly amazing and if you don't know about this yet, it's going to blow your mind, I promise. Okay, so usually when we want to search for a keyword in our code, um, for instance a variable name or, or uh, namespace or whatever, we use we can use grep for that. For instance, here uh, let me search my gem file for jQuery and I've already run this query before. So um, I'm piping the output of gem file into grep and asking it for jQuery and says, oh yeah, I found it, here it is. But that's not good enough. So there is one thing that's better than grep, which is called AG. And what it is, it's basically grep for programmers. So what it does is it searches recursively all of the directories from the current one down, uh, all of the files for our keyword and shows us the results. Let me show you how it works. So I'm going to ag for the bit. Bit is, uh, in this case, the name of my Rails application. And bam, here we go. So it just shows me all of the files where, where this keyword was found, as well as on which line the occurrence is. OK, but how can we use that with Git? Well, fortunately, there's a plugin for that. So it's called ag.vim. Uh, and it's pretty cool. It does have one dependency though. You have to install Silver Searcher to uh, actually be able to use AG. So, um, Silver Searcher, where are you? You Q, okay. So, you need this dependency and then you'll, you'll be fine. Okay, so let's go back to our project. Um, and I'm going to show you how to use AG in Vim, of course. So let's say, um, here's the help file, by the way. As you can see, um, you can use the AG command. Okay. So um, let's say I want to search for an attribute on my model, but I don't know where it is. Um, let's say I want to search for sorry, oops, um, for email attribute, okay, and bam, what I get is the results in the quick fix window, and I can preview them using go, like so, and that opens the file and puts the cursor on the occurrence. Uh, I can also use all of the other things, like open it in new tab using t, or do the split, um, split screen view or whatever uh, or I can just set a uh, type e to just open that file in um, in uh, sorry what ah uh, I can just open the the file let me show you again um, email so if I type just e it will just open my file and close the pop-up Otherwise, I can close the pop-up with Q. Okay, so um, let me show you one really cool trick. I've seen scripts on Stack Overflow for uh, programmatically renaming your Rails applications, but uh, why do that when you can just do it with Vim in a couple of seconds? And here's how. So my application is called Git, uh, sorry, Bit. And I can use AG to search for that. And what I could do is just open every file and rename it there manually. But that, that's just silly. What I could do instead is load all of my files into arguments using AG. And here's how you do it. So do args AG using the list mode for bit. Okay. And what What's this going to do? It's, it's going to load uh, all of the files in my args. And basically what args are is just, um, sorry. So it's just the files that, that I wanted to open, um, like so, right? Um, okay. So now that I have all of my files preloaded in the args, I can just use the built-in command called argdo. Arg do and tell it to search and replace on all of the lines 
do the search and replace of bit to foo bar. Do it globally and after that just write to file. Okay. Da -da 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 -dum. Bam. Done. All done. So now my application has been renamed to foobar in a matter of how, how long did that take? Like three seconds? Pretty sick. So now I can search for foobar and it will find all of the occurrences of there. And, uh, oops, sorry. I was supposed to do the, uh, the refresh, which I have binded here, so the syntax highlighting would work again. Anyway, I've just showed you a really cool trick on how you can use AG to, to find stuff. Maybe when you forgot which file you were looking for, but you know the variable name, AG to the rescue. Now, lastly, I want to show you one more thing, which is how I use uh, AG in conjunction with control P. So let me search for that. Okay. Okay. So here it is. Um, basically, uh, control P uses uh, operating systems find program by default, but you can use AG to get a couple of little nice perks um, to, to use control P with. Uh, one of which is it will respect your git ignore and not show you the results of the files that you're ignoring anyway, as well as not show things like tags, files, and, and other stuff. So it's pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.